how long would you typically work on a piece like like this, that size, if you were wanting well, to spend, sell it or whatever? I'd spend a day on it. You know, most 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 of the day. Most of the day. Most of the day. Overwork a painting. Oh, don't we all? You know, you just after a while, it's just it's just time to stop. And I'm getting better. I'm getting better at it. Now, when you went to see these falls, did did you did you deliberately stay there for quite some time to look at that fall? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's uh, I. I love waterfalls, as all of us do. It's just the power of, but to see a falls that close to us, you know, uh, I didn't think anything like that existed that close to us. How high is it? It's, if a person was standing on top of that, it'd be about oh, wow. eighth of an inch or less. So it's like, like 40 feet high, huh? Yeah, that's just <laughs> tremendous. It's just a tremendous falls. What was the hike down like? I mean, would it be it's something not very scary? Not, no. uh, they need to. They need to do a little work. They need to do a little work on the trail. The park service is There is a trail, up. though. There's a trail. So you're not just going through weeds and. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> but for a long time, that's the way it was. I mean, it was just a, it was just a, it was just a weedy mess. Wow. 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 It's a lot of falls over near Highlands. Oh yeah. See, I was, when I was in school at Bard College over there, we, we went to all those. We went to all those falls. But I haven't seen, I haven't seen any falls any prettier. <laughs> this is lovely. I mean, I. We visited Linville Falls, yeah. which is not too far away from where you're talking about it, yeah. I assume. No, it's still pretty good hunt. Another pretty said? set of falls, of course, is over below Asheville and Brevard, the Pis Pisgah National Forest. There's lots of beautiful falls. Oh, yeah, falls I saw, we were there not too long ago. Yeah, it's real pretty. It's Small falls down in the off of Cox Road, but it doesn't look like that. What's eventually going in the upper right hand corner of this room? Right there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, what's going on? What's going to go up? This is. Do you see that? Is that more rock, or is that trees up there eventually, or what's? what's I'm not going to tell you. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a part of the mystery. Huh? <laughs> when I was when I was working on the when I was working on the train mural downtown, the first one there, Dollar Tire, I had just taken my chalk and made some made some scratches. And after I got through with my chalk, I had some kind of orangey paint left over from a job before or something. I don't know what it was. Well, I took that orange paint and my brush and I went over my chalk marks so they wouldn't go away. Well, the next thing I hear, a lady, Jan Cadell, called me and told me. So a lady had called into the radio station that was all all torqued up about that that train was not orange. <laughs> <laughs> that it was black. <laughs> the 
but you know it was absolutely fantastic because she was she was paying attention. Exactly. You know, I said that's exactly exactly what we need. Somebody paying attention and looking. I said, you know that I thought about it for a little while and it just warmed me cockles. <laughs> Well, I want you to know my husband is so impressed with that train. That's all he talks about. Oh, gosh. It was, thank you. It's, it's, uh, it, it, it was a booger. It was just an absolute booger. How we long did it take? We take all the that? visitors to go, to go see that train. Yeah, it, took, uh, well, it took a better part of the fall of the year, I think, to, I believe to, uh, to do, a, do a lot of that. What a legacy. Yeah, I wonder. I was <laughs> just wondering what my legacy is. <laughs> I haven't found it yet. Well, I hadn't found I'll be under the stones and there will be nothing left. Yes. <laughs> I heard you were a writer and author. Did you, did you write a book? Well, I've written some poems. Oh, well, that's your legacy. Okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm going to let you do some of this up here. You said. <laughs> <laughs> it's a group thing, huh? I think I'll, I'll, I'll put Waldo peering out from behind the rock. <laughs> Paper towels. Uh, uh, Paper towels. Friend, huh? It's a good friend. Any brands? You know, you know, you know, yeah, you got to have a good, you got to have a good, uh, it's very expensive, like the brushes. <laughs> <laughs> but you can wet, moisten this stuff up and you get all those lichens stuff growing on the, you know, on the rock. Once you get a little base in, I don't know where you're going, you can, you can change directions of what you're doing. Real easy. And the more you play, you know, something else will pop out. You just have, you know, you have fun with it. It was wonderful last week when we went. I didn't get to I go think yesterday. Had, I said close to 200 people. Really? Was it on the back street park? Mm -hmm. Last night. Oh, yeah. sure. it was nice. Okay. Last night. And they, they had a good, good tournament. Is anybody going to see Camelot yet? Mm -hmm. We went last I went night. Last oh, night. Oh, I see it. It's I thought it was terrific. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's long, but it's good. Oh, it's my God. Very long. The local talent here is amazing. Isn't it though? It is. <laughs> 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 oh, I've got plenty of time. I'm gonna leave that to last. <laughs> You're gonna torture Pete. Uh, well, he's gonna make sure I don't leave her. Right? <laughs> you know, I may never even finish it. I may just <laughs> you have to come by the studio <coughs> to see the rest. You just huh? have to. You'll just have to come by and. We'll leave this one with you, and y'all can throw sand at it. <laughs> now that you got one really light area over on the left there, right here. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna, is that going to stay like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is this supposed to be the water coming around, that rock or something? It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a highlighted rock. That's what makes it. That's what makes a picture. The little bits of light they creep in. In fact, I want to darken in here a little bit more. I was being serious. I know you were. I appreciate your seriousness too. Yeah, I am paying attention. You are. Let it be. Let it be. I love that shirt. Brace technique. The old brace. I'll do a few of that all. Cool man. Yeah, 
don't want that light area right in there? No, I didn't say I didn't I like, like it. it. I'm just trying to figure out what you're doing there, you know? Kind of like poo. Yeah, exactly. You know, does anybody else have any little spots? <laughs> <laughs> He told us we were supposed to talk. Well, I know it. You're doing a good job. <laughs> That's what my wife says. I love for you to talk. Ask questions. That's what it's all about. It, it is fascinating, though, the way people do things. It is. They're, they're, I love to watch people paint. I mean, I just, anybody on TV that's it's doing it. I, I love to watch it. I just I think it's just great to see some. I don't care what they're doing if they're if they're crocheting or if they're you know. It's fun to watch people be creative. <laughs> you know what, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I was thinking of something. I was why. You remember Rosie Greer, a football oh, player? Oh gosh, yeah. He used to crochet. Mm -hmm. I saw him in the airport in Atlanta. He was crocheting something, but I won't tell you what the design was. It was wild. I mean, he was. He was doing was needlework. A, yeah, I remember when he was doing that. He loved it. That settled him down. Yeah, he criticized Yeah, he was a big guy. Yeah. Don't forget that. He had, he, had, <laughs> he had two pigs in sort of a compromising position oh, making baby really? pigs. We call that, that nicely said or We call what? that making bacon. Yeah, making, making bacon, bacon is what he was doing. <laughs> Kind of fascinating. Like, uh, used to be a football player for the Cincinnati Bengals. He was a big, big guy, and uh, he was a concert pianist, and he was really good. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, like, where do so they get these saying, skills? You know, you're saying that a big guy you can't like, do much. <laughs> you don't see a big guy doing. No, I don't see a big guy doing much. Doing a whole lot. You know? <laughs> <laughs> We'll have a little contest after this. And we'll see. Arm wrestling. I'm wiry. You better run fast. Oh, I can run faster than him. I know that. <laughs> yes, I did. No, you don't either. You know that. Where's the race? Because if I leap on you, Ed, that'll be the end of you. That means I don't have to be president anymore. <laughs> That, that happens when you become president, you can never get out of it. You're there for the rest of your That's life. Right. Yeah. Uh, he, made a, he made an attempt this morning. He told us that the officers need to be replaced. That's right. <laughs> Term limits. <laughs> How's it looking? Looking good. good. Yeah, looking good. The trees look a little shabby, but. Is it easier to lift the paint off of the gesso than it is just regular watercolor paint? Yeah. Oh yeah, if you you're using just if you're using just plain old board, uh, you're not going to do you're not going to do any lifting much. Now you can, but it's very subtle, and I I use that a lot. I use that. I don't very rarely do I actually gesso when I do a watercolor because it's so different. It's more like acrylic. Uh, it's pretty much the same. It's the same thing. You, you buy this stuff in big sheets and you cut it, or do you? Yeah. You cut it yourself. Cut it yourself. Where's Pete? Where's that Pete? I dozed off. Sorry about that. I got a short attention span. What did you think that was up there? Oh, that's good. Pete, what did you think that was up there? I thought it was an alien spaceship. <laughs> 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 